Hi guys, welcome to Vermont Maple Leaf Farm. Today we're gonna cook two kinds of sandwiches, or I should say prepare them. There's not very much cooking going on, you have a few options. So today we're gonna do one that's roast beef and provolone and one that's chicken and brie. The chicken, I, I happen to have went to the store today and grilled off these three chicken breasts, but you can buy chicken breasts already made in your store, sometimes they come pre-packaged, or you can, um, they make those chickens, the roasted chickens, you can bring those home and slice off the breast and use that chicken meat. However you get to it is, is no big deal. I happen to have grilled mine today. So we're gonna go ahead and slice into that. And I'm gonna show you here. We're gonna make some thin slices so it can cover our entire um, bread. So what we did to our bread was I cut it open, it started out like this. We, we sliced it in half. I did a little bit of olive oil for grilling and sauteing, salt and pepper. And so once it was salt and pepper and the olive oil was on it, we threw it onto the grill. And it comes out like this and it is the main part of the sandwich. You can um, switch out the meat if you want or the condiment if you want, but the main part is if you grill up your bread. It gives it um, a special flavor that goes above and beyond having just a sandwich. All right, now we're gonna start building the sandwich. And we're gonna start with the fig spread. I'm gonna get a little fig on both sides. I feel like it's a little more even, uh, evenly balanced in each bite if you put the spread on both sides. I've tried it both ways, this works out better. I'm just gonna loosen up the jam a little bit and go ahead and apply it. So as we apply it, I just wanna make a thin layer. You wanna taste it, but you don't wanna get a big chunk in your mouth. You know, you want it to be a nice accent in the background. So the brie comes next, and this is the first time I've used this type of brie. For me, and I know that it's an original opinion because most people like the skin of the brie, I do not. What I usually do is take off the skin of the brie and scoop out the brie, and there's a lot of waste. Today, when I went to the store to look for the brie, I found this. It's in a little container ready to go, just the middle, perfect. So this is so much easier than having all that rind all over the cutting board and trying to get out the middle, which is the part that I like the most. If you like the rind that makes you happy, um, go ahead and use it. Here's our chicken. I've already sliced it up for you. Um, and we're gonna lay it out evenly so that every bite has chicken in it. So here we've gotten all of our chicken on. Fill in the holes, every slice counts. There we go. And our final step is we're gonna just add that arugula for that little peppery um, crunch, and it gives it that nice light summer feeling. And here we are, we're all set. It's all finished, we're gonna throw the top on, Woo! and we're gonna cut into it. And here it is. You have a little bit of salty on the meat, a little peppery on the arugula, and sweet with the fig. It's gonna be really good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start our second sandwich. And this part you didn't see before with the bread, we're gonna cut it open and grill it. Okay, our second bread is ready. And this is gonna be our roast beef and uh, provolone cheese. We're gonna make uh, a little dressing, and when I say a little dressing, I really mean it. It's, little, it's two ingredients and some salt and pepper. Um, it's half a cup of mayo. And then we add the horseradish. My family likes it pretty spicy, sort of more horseradish than mayo. Some more than others. I won't name names. Um, and we're gonna go ahead, add this in. I give it a little mix because your horseradish gets a little watery on top and add a good amount on there. And remember that you wanna spread this on both sides of the sandwich. So you just need to make, eyeball it enough to make um, spread for both sides. Okay, we're gonna dress both sides. All right, now we're gonna layer on the roast beef and cheese. Roast beef. And now the cheese, this is provolone. Okay, we're gonna add the arugula to the top. And you know what, I don't know why I don't make my life easier. Add it on this side. You don't have to flip it over in that case, right? <laughs> and slice it up. You are ready to go. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, we have both sandwiches ready. We have our chicken and brie 
arugula and fig, and we have our provolone roast beef um, arugula, both with grilled bread. And we're gonna enjoy it tonight for dinner. What are you making? If you liked this video, please give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you're something you're wanting to see, great, um, you can go ahead and make that comment in the comments. If not, and you just wanna see more, we're here. What's the same? I have to do that again. We're here. <laughs> See you in the next video.